Hello everybody, my name is Christopher Kalali. I'm here to present a new project. Let's go. Today we're going to be looking at a game I just made a few years ago. And you all know you are familiar with it. And it's a, similar to a game of cards. It's called the Blackjack game. Let me explain it one by one to make you sure. First, you import random. Random is a Python file that's used in checking random things in order for you to come up with random stuff. Like example, when you import it, it will just give you six. When you import it again, it will give you three. When you input it again, it will give you five. Like that, like that, and so forth. So this we skipped one line, and as I said in the last video, let me do that again. So suits hearts diamonds spades and clubs two three four five six seven eight nine ten jack queen king ace you are familiar with cards if you are familiar with cards you might already know from two to ten jack king queen and ace so if you want to play the game, here are the values. The number two card are two. The number three card are three. The number four card is four. You get it all the way to ten. Then jack is ten. Then the queen is ten. Then the king is ten. Since the ace is all alone by itself, we can just make it eleven. So the plane of the game is actually true. When they mean by the plane of the game, they mean by the game you are playing is already playing so the card class let's move on but before that the values we just did right now is a dictionary class if you are familiar with dictionaries you can you i can just explain to you what dictionaries are dictionaries are used in storing values like alphabets and numbers etc like example like the one we just did two two this one is a string this one is an integer if you want to also do numbers and floats whatever you want it's, but it must be a value now the class card suit and rank is according to what we have up here hearts diamonds spades clubs then this if you multiply four times 13 since you know your maths is 52 so there are 52 cards all together so death string self then then the string of the game when you choose use the card you put self dot rank plus sub dot suit like example two of hearts king of clubs knight ten of spades and so on you're already familiar with the game if you're familiar, like I said earlier, if you're familiar with the game, you already know this. So, def in itself, self deck equals to empty list, like somebody wrote here, empty list. So, for suit in suits, for rank in ranks, you have to build the card objects and add them to the list. Self dot deck dot append. Let me explain that part. A deck of cards. Is an empty list so you are building on this list in order for it to show on once you run it so the string deck comp equals to start with an empty string yes it's true if you don't start with the empty string it, it, the thing will have a bit of error and you have trouble playing the game so deck for card in self dot deck deck composition equals plus equals to slash n let me explain that term since you are not familiar with that slash n is stands for the new line when you are creating something like example you put my name is that column column slash n then you put my name then once you run it you put it uh, you see it two lines there that's how it is in the programming world so return the deck has plus deck composition so the deck has 
plus deck composition like it has here the deck comp like we have on top of here like it's saying the deck has how many cards oh like the comp cards are like how many cards are there then it's now random's turn to do its own special like we put here before random random is a very important card it shuffles things thanks for explanation like the code it helped me explanation now random does shuffle equals to self dot deck so what it will do in this process is it will shuffle the deck to see which result it will give out once it once it gives you your card actually the shuffle of the cards is to for the computer to give you your card so you can start playing the game so death deal single card equals the deck that pop then the card pops and you return your single card like it said in the code 52 so tech test deck it calls the deck like a deck of cards print test deck now example for the list of terms that you already know in cards deck chips had its bets exact etc so you already familiar with that so class hand Def in itself self dot cards none is an empty list value equals to zero and is self dot is equals to zero so you know the reason why we're doing this if you are not listening let me try and tell you again the reason is because if you add something when you start it it will give you a huge error and you will not be happy at yourself either so you start with an empty list as we did in the deck class like this drink said thank you where's the deck class anyways there it is the self dot deck class we did an empty list there so the same thing for the value we start with a zero value because if we put any other figure the same thing happens so self dot aces add an attribute to keep track of aces let's go to the next set Def add card, self card, self dot cards append card. So the cards app the append is for appending all the cards you have as the title. So def adjust for ace. Nothing will be there except pass. Pass is just a function for nothing. So test deck equals to deck. Everything is prepared here from line 73 to line 78. Let me explain that part very well. Test deck equals the deck here is because of the class. All of them are according to class. Test deck equals to shuffle. This shuffle is for random. Meanwhile, test player equals to hand. Meanwhile, the test player dot add card. Test deck dot deal. Test player dot add card. Test deck dot deal. It looks like the same thing except different. So. Test player dot value <coughs> for card and test player dot cards print the card so that means for carding like saying for card and cards print card is a for loop is like saying a for loop so for the player for card and what the player has it will print out all the cards that the player already has so class of chips let's enter the chip class def in itself self dot total equals to 100 hmm this can be a set to a default value or supply by user input like it says here this can be a set set to a default value or simply a user supplied by user input so self dot bet equals to zero it's supposed to be zero like i told you def win bet self self dot total plus equals self bet now let me explain that part so whenever you win the bet in cards it will give you the total of what you already had so if you lose the bet it, it will minus the total minus from your bet so take bet equals to the, to the chip class where's that chip class here it is so dev take bet while true, try this. 
and also we're doing the try because of errors whenever you're handling errors you have to use try and value error or else it will give you a complete error and you will not be able to play the game I'm just telling those who are trying it if you don't try it you are seriously going to get an error error all these times it's optional but seriously if you don't add all these you, know, you don't have to run your program again so def.takebet equals to chips so while true try th this instead chips.bet equals to int inputs how many chips would you like to be in your bet when you ask you for that then if it's not an integer or a float if it's an integer if it's an alphabet or a float, they say, please, sorry, can uh, please let this be an integer. Let me add that here right now. Please, sorry. A, a bet must be an integer in order to play the game. So, if chips.bet is greater than chips.total, sorry, you your bet cannot exceed chips.total. So if you're, let me see that bet again, chips.bet. Oh, there it is, chips.bet equals to zero. Sorry, your bet cannot exceed. So if it's greater than the total, I'm sorry, but if it exceeds 100, you, your bet cannot exceed. If it tells you that, sorry, you can't play a game and you have to quit the project. I'm just telling you actual scenarios. Def hit deck and hand. So that's another term for that. Hand dot add card equals the deck dot deal. Let's talk about that one for a second. The hand equals the ha add card. So the hand will add the card of what they had before, and it will be a deck. It will be a deal. So hand dot adjust for ace. That means to adjust everything for a for the ace card. Death hit or stand deck hand global playing wait let's see what the hashtag has to say about that to control an upcoming while loop nice good tip this can help you in any part of programming you want if you don't choose global if you don't choose global in your code your while loop will be over the world that's why you should use global a lot of the time when you're programming. So while it, while true, X input, would you like to hit or stand? Enter H or S. So if you don't enter anything within H and S, that means it will give you a straight up error. And it and also when you hit any other alphabet, it will give I'll put it there that sorry this is not a, an option that's what i'll do then. sorry this is not an option like i added if x zero dot lower equals to h hit hit deck hand so if you choose to deck if you choose to hit the deck and hand that means you have already lost or won anyways so if x zero dot lower equals to s that means only one thing P player stands and dealer is playing and it, also the plane will be false by then so like i said earlier if you don't hit any of those alphabets to say sorry this is not an option at all let me add that one Continue, continue and break. Break is mostly for while loops. If you don't, if you don't know, because if you don't hit break, your while loop will be out of this world. And continue is to continue the game. So, dev show sub, player and dealer. Print new line dealer's hand. Let me add that. Sorry, if I may excuse me. Show sum player and dealer slash and dealer's hand card hidden so that means if you show the, some of the, some of the cards the dealer has and some of the cards the player has 
So let me tell you who's the dealer and who's the player. If you're playing the game, you and I are the player. Meanwhile, the system you're using is the dealer itself. So if you see this blank string here, dealer cards one. If you don't put, if you put anything there, you might not be able to play the game again. <coughs> so players, new line, players hand times player dot cards. So seps equals to slash n. So that means we do new lining a lot. Def show all. It will show all the cards that each of the dealer and the player has. Like dealer's hand now. Dealer's hand. Dealer dot cards. Sep slash n. Dealer's hand equals to dealer dot value. That means it will give you all the value of the dealer's hand and it will give you all the value of the player's hand. Like I said, it's, it will give you the player's hand and the player's dealer's hand. So, player busts, dealer and chips. So, when they say a player busts, that means the player loses the game. So, death player wins, player, dealer, and chips. So, as for that function, player wins. When the player wins, you win the game and the computer loses a lot. Let me just add that. Chips do win bets. So that means the player wins that only bet card. But if the dealer busts, I'm sorry, but your computer is smarter than you. But I'm not saying that, that the computer is not smarter than you. Anyways, let's continue the, the course. Chips dot win bet is for that the play the computer won the bet then you I should try better next time. Death dealer wins play player dealer and chips. So, oh I meant player wins and dealer busts. Oh yes, bust also means losing. Meanwhile wins on oh, this wins winning. So how do we say this? Player wins. Player wins. Dealer. Player wins. Well, what if it's a draw? Like they always do in football, like a tie. Yes. So, death push. Dealer and player tie. It's a push. That means it's already a win-win for both of them. So dealer wins and player always loses. So that's how cards work. They work in different ways. Dealer, dealer wins. And dealer wins. It's a tie. Tie. It's a push. Both of you won. Just know this is an upgrade. I'm giving it a little upgrade. Welcome to Blackjack. Here's the game. Welcome to Blackjack. Get as close to 21. You can go <coughs> without going over. New line, then it will give you the next line. But let me just name it after myself. So dealer hits until the, she, he or she reaches 17. Aces count as 1 or 11. Yeah, like we mentioned earlier, aces can count as 1 or 11. If you don't want to name it 11, just name it 1. Simple. So let's go down there and read the rest of the instructions. Deck equals to deck. Deck that shuffle. Player hand equals to hand. Player head dot add card equals to deck dot deal. Player head dot add card equals to deck dot deal. Then dealer hand hand. The same thing for the two of them. Whatever happens to the player also happens to the dealer. So let's just start. Player chips equals to chips. Not a, like a bag of chips, like some of you think. 
take bets on player chips. That means the player takes the bet and the player starts the game. Show some player hand and dealer hand. That means they will show some of the player's cards and show some of the dealer's cards. Well, and while playing that game, hit or stand, deck and player hand. Show some, like we explained earlier, some of the player and some of the dealer's cards. So, if play, player hand of value is greater than 21, player busts, player hand, dealer hand, and player chips, and it will take a break. Player hand, it, the value is less than or equal to 21, while dealer hand is less than 17, hit deck dealer hand. <coughs> Show all cards. Show all player hand and dealer hand. If the dealer hand of value is greater than 21, dealer busts. Player hand, dealer hand, player chips. If dealer hand of value is greater than player hand of value, dealer wins. Player hand, dealer hand, and player chips. Dealer hand is less than player hand of value, player wins. Player hand, dealer hand, player chips. Hope you know you should write down all this code so you can also show some assume some of them one day New line players winning stand at player chips the total This is for the ga game whoever wins stands at the player chips total New game input would you like to play another hand? That's like the hand is like another game. Would you like it? Play another game. If you say yes, playing equals to true and the game continues. But if you feel like not playing anymore, thanks for playing. See you soon. And it will take a break. And that's all the code you need for this card game. L let me now run the code to see if it will work. Like, how many chips would you like to bet? If you don't have a clue of the game, you can just check through the code. Well, I'd like to bet 18. I'd like to hit. Players winning to 82. Please let me win this game. This is so much fun. Dealer won. Oh man. I like to play another one. Mm, 21. I like to hit. Oh, again. You can play this game as many times as you can. But ensure you don't lose the game. I like to stand. <gasps> oh my god. I. Hold on. There's something wrong. Let me go check. Oh. I was playing. Player dealer busts and player win. Oh, sorry. That won the game already. Now let's run that game again. They're gonna come in again. Let's see how it works. I like to stand. <gasps> I won finally. Now that's the touch of the game. When you create this project, you might feel ha happy about yourself because you have already made something, created something new out of it. So, then for today's video. Now, let me go to my conclusion. Now, the conclusion to this project I made and showed you right now is about a deck of cards. If you are familiar with the game, you would play it with pie charm. And once you play it with pie charm, it will give you a clue of what you do in the actual game. And then you might win it, the dealer that's playing you. So, 
that's my own conclusion keep programming and you sure get it someday bye see you soon this is christopher calvary's channel and stick tuned